Hello everyone. In this video, we will be graphing absolute value inequalities in two variables. This is called two variable inequality because you have both X and Y as part of the inequality. But before we go into this example right here, let's have a review in graphing inequalities in two variables. We remember that if we get a greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we use the solid graph. Well, if we have a greater or less than, we're going to use the broken graph. So let's go back to the first example. The first step that we're going to do in order that we can um, sketch the graph for this is to determine the vertex. So we are going to write the vertex here. So to find the vertex, we are going to switch and keep the sign. So that would be a positive 4 and then this is a negative 5. So that's the vertex and we plot that over here. So that would be on 4 and then negative 5. Then we go down all the way here. So this is the vertex and we are going to create the table in order that we can um, determine the rest of the points. Now I'll give you a trick on how to do that. So the first thing that we're going to do is to cover both the H and K. So cover the H and K and then change the inequality to equal sign. And that would be the equation that we're going to use in order that we can determine the rest of the periods or the rest of the dots. So the equation would be Y is equal to absolute value of X. So that's the left over. Now we are going to create the table. So from the vertex. Okay, so we are going to create a three rows by two column table. Okay, the one that we write here would be one right, two right, three right. And then we are going to fill the other part in here. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to plug in this value 1, 2, and 3 to the x. So if we have 1, absolute value of 1 is 1. So then we go ahead and say this is um, going up because that's a positive. Now this one right here, 2, we plug into the x. So absolute value of 2 is 2. Two, so that means we are going up since this is positive. So this side is going to the right every time. This side, it depends on the sign. So if it's positive, we go up. If it's negative, we go down. Since these are positive, we go up. Three, we plug it in here. So absolute value of three would be three. And so we go up three. So we are now ready to sketch the graph. So from here, we go ahead and um, sketch the next dot from the vertex one step right. So this was the vertex, we go one step to the right, and then we go one step up. So this is the next dot. The, set, the next dot right here would be two to the right, one, two, then we go two up, one, two. So it's gonna be right here. And then from the vertex, we go three right, one, two, three, then we go three up. One, two, three. So we go that way. And since we are having a um, an absolute value, so we are going to draw the same dot across from the line of symmetry. So it's going to be forming like a letter V. So then from here, we are going to determine which line do we use, the broken or the solid. Since there's no bar underneath, we are going to use the broken um, graph. So I'm going to write broken there. So I will... Um, have a broken line connecting these dots together. By the way, this goes all the way to infinity. So I can go ahead and in, um, um, go that all the way to infinity right there. So the next thing that we're going to do is to use the trick where to shade. Is it above or below the graph? The trick is if Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. So in this problem that we have here, since this is greater than, we go ahead and shade above the vertex. So above the vertex means this side right here that is above the vertex because we have greater than. So that means we are shading above. Okay, so we have um, negative 5, negative 5. 
So negative five and negative five is right here. So this is not a solution because it's outside of the shaded region. So this is not a solution. And then we can go ahead and label this as not a solution. Well, if we have zero, zero, so the zero, zero is right here. So this is part of the shaded region. So this is a solution. So zero, zero is a solution. Let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. First, we determine the vertex. So I'm gonna write the vertex down here. Remember, this is switch and keep. So this becomes negative two and positive three because you have to switch negative. We have to keep that's positive. So then we sketch or plot the vertex. So that's negative two, positive three is up here. That's the vertex. And then we are now ready to complete the um, table. We write the equation first. The trick is to cover this H and K. So cover the H and K and change the inequality to equal sign. And that is the equation that we are going to use. So the equation that we're going to have would be Y equals negative one half absolute value of X. Now we are going to create the table. Okay, so we're now ready to complete this table. So first we are going to plug this one, two, and three into the equation. So that would be if we plug in one, so that's gonna be absolute value of one is one times negative one half would be a negative one half. So this is negative one half or is equal to negative 0 0.5. So since this is negative, we are going down. Now the next one right here, two. So absolute value of two would be uh, two. Two times negative one half or half of two is a negative one. So that would be a negative one. So that means we are going down. And then we have a three. So absolute value of three is three. And then uh, times negative one half would be negative three halves, or this is equal to half of three would 1.5. And so that means we are going down. So then from here, we go ahead and sketch the rest of the dots. So from the vertex, we go one to the right, and then we go down, because that's a negative, so we go down one half. So it's gonna be right here. And then we go to the right two, so one and two, then we go down one. So we go down from, so that's one, two, one. So this is the next dot. And then the next dot would be go to the right three from the vertex. So again, that's from the vertex. So we go three to the right, one, two, three. Then we go down negative 1.5. So that's down 1.5, one and 1.5 is right here. So halfway between these two. So then we are going to do, we are going to sketch the graph across. So we're going to determine if we're going to use a, a solid or a broken graph. So then from here, it says that it, it has a bar underneath. So we're going to use a solid line. So I'm going to draw a solid line right here. Okay, now we are going to determine which side do we shade. Is it above the vertex or below the vertex? Again, the trick is if Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade the side above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to. Shade the side below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this one right here is less than, we are going to shade below the vertex. So I'm gonna write here that's gonna be below the vertex. So below the vertex means down from the vertex. So we're shading all the rest of these parts here. Okay, now let's determine if zero five is a solution. So zero and five, it's up here. So this is not a solution because it's off of the shaded region. So this is not a solution. 
And let's see if 0, 0 is a solution. 0, 0 is right here. And it is a solution because it's part of the shaded region. So we go ahead and say this is a solution. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, first we determine the vertex. So our vertex here is switch and keep. So since that is positive, I write negative four. I keep this, that's a positive three. So then I am going to uh, plot this vertex. It's on negative four and then positive three. So I go up three right here. So this is where the vertex is going to sit. Now we will determine the rest of the dots. Again, I give you a trick. What are we going to do is to use an equation. The equation that we're going to use would be after we covered the H and the K and we change the inequality into equal sign. So then our equation here would be um, that's going to be Y is equal to two absolute value of X. And then we are ready to uh, draw the table. Okay, so let's fill this in. So we have one, so we fill in the one here. So uh, absolute value of one is one. One times two is two. So we go ahead and write two here. That's a positive two. So that means this is going up. Now we have another one right here um, that's gonna be, so it's gonna be two, so absolute value of two is two, times two is four, so that would go up since that is positive. And then we have a three, so we plug it in, so three, absolute value of three is three, times two is a six. So then that means we go up six times. So that means from the vertex, we go one right and go up two. One, two, so it's gonna be right here. And then from the vertex, we go two to the right, one, two, then we go four up, one, two, three, four, so it's gonna be right here. And then three to the right, one, two, three, then we go up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the other dot. So then we are going to sketch the dot across to form a letter V. Okay, now we determine what kind of line do we use, the broken or solid. Since this there's a bar underneath, we're going to use solid. So we're going to use a solid line. And then we are going to determine which side do we shade. Is it above the vertex or below the vertex? Again, the trick is if Y is isolated by itself on the left side, locate the vertex and from the vertex, shade above the vertex if it's greater than or greater than or equal to, shade below the vertex if it's less than or less than or equal to. Since this is greater than, we are going to shade above the vertex. Okay, so we are shading. So this is the vertex. We're going to shade above the vertex. So which means that this shaded portion would be the solution and these parts that have not been shaded are not the solution. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.